This is the Rumor Report Talk to with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, back in 2015, Lil Wayne sued Birdman and cashed money for $51 million. He was trying to get out of his contract as well. He also sued Universal Music for $40 million, saying he was owed royalties for young money artists. Well, according to court documents and The Blast, both of those disputes have been settled. It's an undisclosed amount. People are saying it's over $10 million. Has to be. It was paid for by Universal and not by Birdman himself. So he getting his money then? Yeah, we don't know money. exactly how much it is. It's he's undisclosed. It. Yeah, but he's getting it, though. He's Absolutely. getting something. Drop on the clues bond for Lil Wayne, man. Happy for him. Lil Wayne is also free from cash money. Good. All his future releases will be handled only by Universal. And the Carter Five will reportedly also be released finally. So there you have it. I wonder if it was Universal's fault the whole time, though. And Birdman was just getting the blame. Uh, I'm not sure, but now he's no longer mm. part of Cash Money, so maybe Universal paid him out. Because Universal wouldn't be fitting, 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 footing that bill for Birdman, would they? But they well, said- he's saying that for Universal, that lawsuit was saying that he's owed money for Nicki, Drake, the Young Money yes, artist. those yeah. are his artists, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Lil what? Wayne's lawyer has confirmed that settlement. He did a statement to Billboard. He said he is his own man, mm-hmm. a man that owns his assets, his music, and himself. At some point, Wayne will let his fans know what's going to happen next. But they also said they were able to pay him because they know they were going to get the money back from all right. the future artists. He's so. going to he's gonna put out his music directly through Universal. Just please don't put out any Lil Twist music, man. I heard Lil Twist diss record to uh, good music, and I was like, you know what? I'm so glad Jay Prince intervened and stopped this. <laughs> Look, I thought Lil Twist was locked up. <clears throat> no. Well, Nicki Minaj has also put out her artwork for her new album, Queen, that is uh, scheduled to be coming out soon. And I don't know if you guys had a chance to see it. The album comes out on August 10th. Uh, but she posted by the legendary Merton Marcus, my greatest work to date. Thank you for your patience and love. Pre-order next week. So everybody who is excited for the album Queen, you can start pre-ordering that album next week. Can't wait to hear that. What about you, Envy? I can't wait to hear it. Okay. Did you guys see the artwork? I did. I did see if the artwork. TV, artwork is dope. Check it out. It don't look like an album cover, but you know, so it's a photo shoot. Look like it says, look like a photo shoot slash album cover. Looks What's dope. an album cover supposed to look like? I don't know. I'm just hating. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> what if it don't look like an album cover? <laughs> All right, and Atlanta has been renewed for a season three. Of course, hey. not a surprise. They did announce that yesterday, so we don't know if it's going to have a whole new title, like how season two had Atlanta Robin season. But, of course, they will be back on the air in 2019. So, congratulations to them. You know I love that show. So, this is coming back faster than the second season came. Second season took a couple years. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Kevin Durant has surprised some students in the Bay Area. He's going to pay their first year of college tuition. Now, he's been doing a lot, and he's been working with the boys and girls clubs in the Bay Area. He He mentored several children, and he surprised four of those kids by paying their tuition for that first year of college. So here's what happened. First year of college, uh, we'd like to pay for it. That was the moment is when I knew my whole life would change. That that very moment. I, just, I fell on the ground just knowing that somebody believes in you enough to literally invest in you. It's something I always dreamt about and always wanted to be a part of something special outside of myself. So glad I could be able to help. It feels like I'm doing something good in the world when I help someone else out. Oh, drop- That's a major relief to get your first year of college paid for. Yeah, drop on the clues bombs with Kevin Durant. It's a shame that they can't win uh, the championship in Golden State this year so those kids can watch Kevin Durant get his second ring. All right, Cheryl Underwood, she was on her show and um, the talk, and mm-hmm. she shared some information. She was talking about Kate Spade uh, and her suicide and also the note that Kate Spade left for her daughter. And here's what she had to say, because, you know, her husband, Cheryl Underwood's husband, also committed suicide. You'll never know. You'll never know if it's clinical depression. You'll never know if it's financial stress. You'll never know. Um, I'm sad for her daughter for that to be in the note, Mm. because um, my husband left the note. And what the note does to the person who's still alive is it shows that the person who's no longer alive has now had the final word. There's nothing you can do about it now. And that pain does not, it doesn't go away. Mm. Oh, that's really sad, man. Jesus Christ, she is Friday. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to bring attention to what's going on in the world. 
All right. So uh, she did say that she hopes that the family can come together for her daughter because, of course, like she said, that pain does not go away. But it's not all woe is me. It's a journey. And she said everything she went through has made her stronger as well. Please. And please don't turn on uh, Kids See Ghost album immediately. We're going to get that in the next hour. Definitely. Don't worry. Don't do that. No, you don't, don't want to that. get After hearing no. what you just heard, mm-hmm. don't turn on Kids You'll be confused. Ghost. Please. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.